So as I've been doing these um, videos on the chakras and contemplating each chakra one by one, I of course have been reflecting on my own journey with those particular domains and my own relationship with those energy centers. Because even though I do healing work, it doesn't mean that that healing journey ever ends. I am, you know, I don't rest on my laurels. I'm always trying to go deeper. And so I've been reflecting just how much my relationship with my sacred temple, my body, has improved. And how much more I love my sacred temple. But it hasn't always been like this. And I used to disrespect and desecrate my sacred temple a lot in many years gone by and I still I still I'm not perfect I still do there's still ways that I don't honor my sacred my sacred temple and it's got me thinking you know like isn't it interesting that we could go to a sacred site or, or a temple space somewhere when we're traveling and we would never think to desecrate or dishonor disrespect that sacred space and yet with our own temple, the, the, the vessel that houses the essence of our soul, that animates our human experience, that gives us life, it's such a gift. We so often disrespect the temple. So this is just a chance, if you're listening to this, if you call to this video, an opportunity to reflect on what ways you might be dishonoring your sacred temple. And how can you make some tweaks and changes just to give this beautiful vessel this sacred space of yours that houses your soul how can you give it more love more attention more affection more nurturing more nourishing more respect how can you start to feel into its divine nature a little more because by the time our poor behaviors and poor thought forms and you know, stuffing down our emotions gets to the physical, then we're in the territory of physical disease and things are a lot trickier to resolve. So we're given all of these opportunities to prevent the manifestation of that by watching our thoughts and looking at our behaviours and observing ourselves, being compassionately a witness to what we're thinking and to sit with our emotions. These are all the opportunities that will help us prevent the issues that become serious within the body so that you can keep your temple space so sacred for as long as possible.